A recent spate of drownings across the country has prompted an urgent warning from safety officials who are frustrated their message just isn't getting through. A combination of warm weather and closed borders have seen twice as many people flocking to Auckland beaches compared to the same time last year. Shannon Redstall reports. This is calm for Karioitahi Beach. Yesterday, these waves were double the size. It is usually quite rough, quite large. The waves are very powerful. Hot and sunny weather has seen people hit the beach right across the country, including at Karioitahi, southwest of Auckland City. We thought everyone was going to be at the shops, but I think everyone decided to ditch the shopping bags for a good beach bag. To give you an idea, in 2020, there were more than 10,000 people who visited Auckland's 22 patrolled beaches on Christmas and Boxing Days, but this year there were more than 22,000. Those numbers were reflected in the rescue statistics. Last year there were no deaths and just a single rescue. While this weekend just been, there were two fatalities and 11 rescues. The numbers that we've been seeing at the beach have definitely gotten a lot larger since this time last year and the number of incidents that we've been doing, especially the fatalities that we've had out here, it's been really, really unfortunate but it's definitely increased. It was just after two o'clock yesterday afternoon when Surf Lifesavers were alerted to a swimmer in trouble just north of the flags here at Kariotahi Beach. They got to him within two minutes and pulled him out of the water but he was unable to be resuscitated. Two hours later, five people were caught in a rip at Waiwera Beach, north of Auckland. Four of them were rescued, but one died. The third drowning of Boxing Day happened at Waikanae Beach on the Kapiti Coast. When we ask everyone to please swim between the flags, it's because we've seen what happens when people don't and what can happen when things don't go well. Patrol Captain Kayleigh says even in 2021, lifeguards are still trying to get their most important message through. A lot of people don't actually know about the flags. Like I've had a few people that ask me where the safest place to swim is and I'm just like, oh, you know, that red and yellow area just over there where all the lifeguards are standing is definitely the place that you should be. An important reminder of the safest place to be when you're enjoying paradise this summer. Shannon Redstall, News Hub.